For its layers, Black Ink uses a node-based layer editor instead of a simple stack, offering greater flexibility and better performance for your creations. All right, I open my layer editor. It's located here by default. And here, I have the properties of the selected operators. We can see the output, which corresponds to the final drawing. If I click on it, I can see its properties. There's a layer stack where I manage my layers, as in most drawing software. If I click on it, I can see how many layers it has. And if I click on a layer, I have its properties as well as those of the input to the layer stack it is connected to. For you to understand clearly, if I expand my layer here, you can see that it's also an operator. If I hold down the control key, I'll be able to extract it from my stack. A link appears. On the bracketed layer, I quickly draw something for my example. Now, if I select and delete this link, my drawing is still there, but once disconnected, it's no longer considered. I can put it back directly into my layer stack by drag and dropping it. Or if I simply take it out, I create a new link. All right, my drawing is active again. I resize the operator, I move it. I see the message, no input connected. So I click on it and I have the brackets around my preview. You can see that by selecting the layer operator, I only have access to the layer's properties. However, if I select it through my layer stack, I'll be able to adjust its opacity or blending, which are specific to the layer stack input and not to the layer operator. Here lies the power of the node system, connecting the same operator with other operators for more freedom in creation. For example, when I drag a link into empty space, Upon release, a menu appears. From there, I select the transformation operator. All its settings are visible here. I connect it to my layer stack and make adjustments directly in the canvas. I select my layer again, and by drawing inside it, my transformation is applied. All right, I select my link again and delete it to add another operator. I extract my link. This time, I create the blur operator. I connect it to my layer stack. It applies directly after my transformation. I adjust it. I return to my transform operator. I move and deform it. I go back to my layer and draw. I tidy up a bit and integrate my transform into the input of the blur. This way, by clicking on the input, I retrieve the transform Using operators allows you to keep all the steps of your drawings while modifying or transforming them. Right then, I'm going to make a drawing to illustrate a simple use. First, I rename my layer by double-clicking and I confirm with Enter. I place it back into my layer stack. And I delete my example drawing by pressing the Delete key. Then I draw. I create a new layer by clicking here. I rename it and press Enter. I go back to my initial layer and set it to transparency. I select my last layer and draw on it to simplify my drawing. I extract my drawing layer from the stack to keep it without using it in my final drawing. I resize it to see it better. Good, I'll leave it there. I select my operators and to center my selection, I press Ctrl-3 and to be at 100%, I press Ctrl-1. To create a layer stack, I can click on this icon here. I can also go to the Create menu like this. Or I can right-click in the Editor view and choose the layer stack. I rename my stack to Head. I resize it. I connect it by stretching my link into my main layer stack under my stylized layer I zoom out with the mouse wheel or by holding down Ctrl space. I move my view by holding down the space bar. To keep it brief, I skip my drawing steps. To hide a layer, I click on the icon here. And to show it again, I click here once more. To expand my stack, I click here. And to view all my layers, I press Ctrl zero. You can see that I have quite a few layers exactly 20 in the properties. If I click on the output button, only my layer stack head is visible. 
I click on it once more to see my entire drawing again. I fold my layer stack again, and I quickly go through my drawing steps, and Kidder L0 to fit my graph to my view. Finally, I hide this layer above my other layers, and I compare my initial drawing by clicking on Output. Perfect! I believe you now have all the tools to use and experiment with the layer editor. More tutorials will follow on specific operators. Feel free to share your feedback with us. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.